If you had told the younger Omi Odike that you would write a book, you would sell the book, you would print more books, you would sell them, I would never have believed it. I want to just talk to you about the God that can supply your needs. I got to a point where I had walked and overworked myself to stupor and my body was going to fail on me. In this video, you will get secrets. You know how people are afraid of the unknown? This video is the answer to walking in the unknown and succeeding even through unknown parts. Yeah, well, I can't lie to you. The next day after I paid the guy half of the money, the remaining half of the money came. I just come here to give my testimony, you guys. I want to talk to you about believing God for the impossible. If God has told you to quit something in your life, maybe a lifestyle, a particular business, if there's something that God has told you to let go of, but it feels very scary to let go of that thing because you just don't know how to survive, right? And you're struggling. My testimony will help you a lot, I'm telling you, because God has changed my life by the way i just concluded my very successful book launch and i'm just so grateful to god because if you had told the younger omi or dk that you would write a book print the book you would sell the book you would print more books you would sell them i would never have believed it if you had told me omi or dk that you would actually organize a book launch here yeah, and you would not pay any money at all for that book launch i would have said you're joking but that's my testimony so let's go back quick backstory because backstories help you to understand and where I'm coming from, right? I used to review a show, Big Brother show, yeah? Aside me reviewing the show, I'm a Christian, God lover, I pray, I fast. Like, I am good on God's side, though. But then the show, you know, I mean, the lifestyle of the show, you know, the way the show was organized, they could kiss on the show, they could have sex on the show, the guys could smush the girls on the show. And, I mean, that was what was bringing the views. You get me? Like, if a couple have sex on the show, and I come and, you know, give the gist, that video is getting, like, 500,000 views, 200,000 views. So, guess what? As the views are growing up, you're getting more money. So, I was making so much money on YouTube. I was doing fine. I was earning dollars. I'm in Nigeria. Our currency and dollars currency, the disparity is a lot. When I changed the money to Nigerian currency, I was living good. I was pretty comfortable, right? And God began to tell me to stop that, you know, stop reviewing the show. I kept on telling God, like, how you tell me to stop this show? Like, are you joking, God? Like, even you, God, can see the balance in my account. What? Like, you can't tell me to quit the show or quit reviewing the show. The more I do it, the more I know I'm not supposed to do it, but I'm doing it for the money still, yeah? Until I got pregnant and I gave birth and I just went through, like, a whole... A whole series of you know just health health wise and that was the first time it hit, it hit me that i was enslaved to the culture do you know where you're working solely because that thing is giving you money and you have lost every form of purpose and vision all you're there for is just for the money your body begins to work like a slave and i'm working like a slave for it yeah and it almost killed me i developed a um a condition when i was pregnant i think towards the end of my pregnancy and they had to do an emergency cesarean session on me to take the baby out but i was dealing with high blood pressure it was a lot it's like i got to, i got to a point where i had walked and overworked myself to stupor and my body was gonna fail on me right and so when god came again and said to me you know you have to quit the show right i didn't even i didn't even doubt it i was like okay fine but what am i going to do now like what am i going to do i was still battling with you know high blood pressure taking drugs for that i i needed to get healed from that it was just a journey of, of my life right i finally agreed to quit reviewing the show but i didn't know what step to take okay what do i do and then god says to work with me and says to work with me and says to heal me because a lot of times yeah i really believe that if god tells you something the problem is that we don't know god so it's very easy when he tells you to do something it's, it's very easy for you to doubt it like take for example i live in nigeria things are getting more expensive every single day right just yesterday my husband comes and tells me oh me they've increased the price of fuel so it's very hard for you on a logical mind to want to do a business or want to do something like the news you hear every day cripples you and i'm sure it's the same thing for those who are even outside nigeria it's very easy to just like stay locked and not even want to achieve or attempt anything new because things are getting crazy it doesn't make sense to start anything new but we forget that as children of god God is the one backing us up. We forget that a lot. And we're not supposed to forget it. Because that's the only way we can survive and achieve and thrive and succeed. You get me? Because if there's no God factor, then I can be doomed. But if I have a God who's going to provide for me, who's going to take care of me, who's telling me, do this work, I'll provide for you. It's easier, right? So let me tell you one way to remember who God is in your life. is to sit back and look at his 
just like what he has done in your life from time past till now and you know he took me on a journey and he started to remind me of like when i was in university you get me when i my dad had died like a year before i entered university but God miraculously gave me a miraculous job. I started to work in the job. I started to make money there. You know, God took me to when I started to work in a consumer finance company as a salesman to sell loans and how I was a bad salesperson. Do you get me? But then I started to work with him. He started to teach me what to do. I started to confess, you know, positive confession concerning my outcome. And I started to see changes in my life. So God just sat me down and said, I am the God that helped you three years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, I am still the God now, you get me? And so one day I was not seeing my baby, I was just tired of everything and I was watching a preaching. You see, let me tell you something here, a lot of times, when you begin to feel the prompting to listen to something, like yeah, let's say you want to watch a movie right now, yeah? And you feel the prompting to listen to a preaching, trust me, believe that prompting, it is necessary. So um, that night, I remember so vividly, it was midnight and my baby wasn't sleeping. I was trying to make him sleep. He was just cranky. I was cranky. Everyone was cranky. My, my husband was sleeping peacefully in the room. Oh. This was about, I think this was about maybe like a month, maybe like a month after giving birth to my child i didn't have a help i was just stressed i won't lie to you and i stopped reviewing the show so i wasn't making money every month in fact i wasn't making money because this was a month after i had given birth to my child and you know how when you have a new child all your money is going to that child diaper i wasn't even lactating so, I, so I, we had to buy baby milk so basically all our money was channeled into taking care of our babies so i was spending all the money i had and i did not have any money coming in work wise right because i had two channels i had one channel where i review with the, i reviewed the show and i had another channel this is this is, which is this channel this was just a channel i opened like okay let me just do what i really enjoy doing but let that other one be like my money making channel you get me yeah exactly in fact two weeks before i gave birth i was talking to a friend of mine who is in Canada and she was like oh me have you heard about registry I'm just like what's that she was like well you can just um drop every like things you need for your child and share the link to like your friends and family and then they just buy some things there that way they're supporting you they're helping you I'm like really she was like yeah I was like I don't know about it she was like okay let me help you and google this girl literally googled it found the link gave me the link I created the registry you guys I can't even lie to you I did not put the registry on the other channel that that, that was my money I think I had over 50k subscribers on that channel over literally and this one I I think I was on like a thousand or something right but I put the registry link on this channel I can't lie to you, yeah. From the from the day I gave birth to my child, right? People on this channel that I was da overlooking and downplaying kept on buying things for my baby. Every day, one day, the next day, I was getting new deliveries. People were buying things. People outside the country, people in Nigeria, they were just buying things for this child, right? Now, little did I know that the only place that I put the link of this registry was the same channel that I had downplayed, that I just overlooked because i felt that the other one i can feel goosebumps here because it's taking i'm, I'm going back i want to just talk to you about the god that can supply your needs so every other day i was getting deliveries and deliveries and deliveries on this channel that, that, that i had undermined okay good fast forward to that night that night i was sitting in, my, in the parlor i was cranky maybe wasn't sleeping i was watching a movie i'd watched like two movies i was having a headache one of the symptoms of high blood pressure is headache. I was just in it. I was just a mess, right? And so I was going to watch another movie again, you know. This was about 12, 12 midnight, 1 a.m. And the Holy Spirit said to me, can't you tell that movies is not your answer? I'm just like, so what? He was like, get a preaching and listen to. I'm just like, hey, preaching. Because you, you know how you tell yourself, I want to relax preachings are too serious i want to watch a movie well i'd watched two movies and my, my head was still banging right and so i was like okay let me get the preaching and so i went on youtube and the first video i saw i can i can't i cannot forget the message it was titled rise slay and eat by sarah jakes and i clicked that message and i clicked that message my redemption my deliverance just poured on she was speaking to me she was talking to me i was listening just about how god is calling you to a higher to a higher ground and you're so stuck on your old nature or or, or like your old um, status and you think that's where you need to be but god wants to uplift you god wants to move you if you sound like while she was studying for that message, God was talking about me to her. Do you get me? All of a sudden, I just started to hear God, you know, talk to me, talk to me, talk to me. And he told me to write a book afterwards.
While he told me that I had not written a story for about two years, I was having writer's block, a case where when you're writing, you can't like the words can't flow because you just can't write the story, right? And so when God said write a book, I'm just like, write a book, Lord. And he was like, Yeah, I'm just like, Well, I haven't written a book in a while. I haven't written a story in a while. I have never written a book before. The the, the best I've done has been like a series of 20 chapters. And that one, I, it was even magical that I finished that story, Seb. And he was like, write a book. And so, but the message was, was so hard. I knew I was supposed to write a book. And the next day I woke up in the morning and I started to write my book but somehow yeah it just felt like the more i wrote the more i was writing the more i wrote the more i was writing nothing felt see when when god's hand is in something let me just tell you how you know everything will be easy everything will be smooth trust me if you're if, you, if you're doing something and you just see that you're over stressing yourself or you see that you're slaving just to achieve that thing that that's that god's hand is not there because if god's hand is there it will move smoothly for you i trust me i'm telling you i cannot forget the day my husband comes to me because all of a sudden he sees his wife who was cranky and tired and la, 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 just happier and, and, you know, always writing. What are you writing? I'm, I'm writing a book. Oh, really? Yeah. And so he came to me and said, um, Omi, I hope you know that after writing this book that you're writing, right, you need to give it to a professional to proofread it, right? I was like, yeah. He was like, you know that you can't do it yourself. I was like, yeah. He was like, so what's your plan? Before he asked me that question, I did not have a plan. I did. I, I, all I knew was God said, write a book. I, I was writing the book. Do you get me? And so I looked at him and I said, when I get to that part, God will take care of it. Because I was so sure, like, you know, I mean, yeah. So he was like, okay, fine. And I continued writing. The, the day I put my, my last full stop. So after I wrote, I reread. Because when you're writing a book, you would read a lot. So I reread the book, yeah, and I put my last full stop. And I knelt down. I said, dear Lord, you asked me to write this book. I have written this book. The next step for this book is that there needs to be somebody who will read this book. I don't know anyone who, who, who even does proofreading. Lord, provide for me. Help me. I literally take this book and I put it into your hands in Jesus' name. This book is tied to the other side of here. In fact, maybe I should have it with you. Just give me a minute. Yeah, because like for, for reference, you need it, right? Okay, good. So I said this prayer. I knelt down. I said this prayer. I was done. And then I got up. The next morning, I was sitting down in the parlor and, and I just remembered all of a sudden, God just suddenly put in my mind, like, remember that lady that you trained last year? I was like, yeah. Remember she said she wrote a book. So call her and ask her, like, what's the process? Like, who proofread her book? Like, you need a proofreader. And so I picked up my phone and I was like, ah, ma, because she's like a mature woman, you know, she's a grandmother even, and she stays in Canada. I was like, hi, good afternoon, ma. She called me back, how are you doing? She really likes me because, I mean, I trained her well. And after I told her, my wrote a book, you know, I'm, I'm trying to get a proofreader. But I remember that you used to write a book, you used to write books as well. So, like, do you have a proofreader? Yeah, let me tell you her response. Her response was, oh, okay, don't worry, I'll pay for it. See, I did not say, ma, pay for this book. All I said was, ma, I wrote a book and I'm looking for a proofreader. I know you write, you write as well. Who proofreads your book for you? And she says, don't worry, I'll pay for this book. Bear in mind, I have not made any money. I'm being very truthful with you because God said that to come and teach you how to make money the kingdom way. This is how God uses your life and, and blesses you and funds his project for your life. This is literally how he does it. So I had not made money, so I did not have any money in my account to pay for any proofreading person at all. That's why I knelt down when I prayed to God. And he knew, he and I knew what I was talking about, right? So when this lady said, or when this woman says, bless her, I call her auntie. She even wrote my forward. If you get a copy of my book, you would see the person who wrote the forward is this beautiful and blessed woman I'm talking about, yeah? She's like, don't worry, I'll pay for it for you. I'm just like, ma, she's like, yeah, don't worry. Okay, good. So the proofreader calls me and then asks me like, okay, so give me the book. I give her the book. Because she said that she charges per words. And so I think that evening, the lady called me, that's the woman, Auntie J. Uh, her name is Auntie J. So Auntie J calls me and Auntie J is like, wait, 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 oh me, I don't understand. Do you know how many pages your, books, your book is? I'm just like, how many? She's like, do you know how much I paid? Because it is a, your book is big. I'm just like, hey, ma, are you for real? Because I've never written it. This is my first book writing experience you get me i was like ma really she was like yeah it's so big oh me i was like ma i don't know i'm sorry she's like no, no 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 don't worry i've paid for it already hey god so you see that if it, i had to be the person who had pulled i've paid for the book i most likely would have not paid 
because it was over a hundred thousand and the money i had was even depleting because i was taking care of my baby or the like the savings i had you get me so like where would i have gotten the money to pay for the proofreading that's why god brought the person for me bear in mind god again now sends another angel i call her an angel if you watch my vlogs for a while you probably know sister a i don't know this sister a from anywhere i've never met her in i'm having goosebumps y'all I've not met this sister A in my life. All I know is that she watches my vlog. That's all I know, right? Sister A just reaches out to me. I want to send you something for your child. She's sending me things for my child. Sister A, I'm having God help me. I, I just have, like, I can feel the spirit of God on me. Sister A shopped for my child, like, for a whole year, I did not have to buy a pin for my baby boy because a lady who I don't know Who's watching me on YouTube just comes and just buys and buys and buys things for my baby. The next time she comes, she buys for me. She buys for my husband. She buys for my mother. Y'all, I'm telling you that I could not even afford. I was because I mean, God said, Stop what you were doing. I was on this path of obedience with God. If God has told you to do something, obedience is the only key that you have to hold and move on. Trust me. Because I, there was a time when, I mean, during that period, I could not change my handbag. I had this one black rickety bag. You know when your bag has been, has stayed so long, it's old, the, the body has stayed peeling. Like when I go outside, I try to hide the handle of the bag because the handle of the bag is peeling. And I know that maybe a new bag can be like 12,000 naira or something. Maybe like just a new knock, a, a, a knockabout bag I can buy, but 12K can buy me like three cans of milk maybe maybe two cans of milk you get me for my child so i, I was not ready to throw away 12 k because i needed my child to drink milk because it was taking like how many cans of milk a, a week you get me i didn't have breast milk flowing and from nowhere sister a reaches out to me i have you have a delivery all this is happening after i gave birth to my child after i agreed to follow god leading god's instruction for my life sister a sends me like maybe like 12 different designer bags like when god is actually to do something god will bring people that will support you they will help you it's like he puts a cushion in your life for you to fulfill that assignment it might look scary trust me but if god has told you to do something i promise you he is backing you up because how did i move from hiding my bag handle so that people don't say that the bag is so is peeled off and everything me me who, who used to be a chick me who used to go and buy things for myself like every month you know because ha, 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 all of a sudden i was in a season of just managing and managing and managing and somebody's calling me and person is getting me back imagine like their black bags yellow bags like 12 or more than 12 handbags that she gave me she just come and just say ah omi I, I you know i was watching your video i heard you say this boom check your account she's giving me money i don't know this person before so no matter how scary your, your life looks like yeah there are people that god has assigned in on this earth yeah waiting for his instruction to say go he will put a, he will put an invisible mark upon your head that the people that he has sent will see that mark and they will bless you that's how god works trust me my life is a testimony so all this is happening because it took me it took me like over a year to write this book this book you're saying here because I, I, I really can't do the timeline but i mean i said when it'd be like maybe like over a year to write the first piece of the book and in that first piece god is providing for me like god is like do the work i gave you i will send my children to provide for you and he was doing that okay boom so the lady starts proofreading the book she proofreads she gives me back i read finally after a long while she sends me the final manuscript like okay omi this is your manuscript now you can go ahead and print the book but i don't have money to print the book like where am i going to get money from but you see at every stage of this journey i'm kneeling down to talk to god let me tell you what one secret i found out about just life especially if you're in in, in a in a season of obedience right if you're doing something that god has says do yeah and it looks scary and you don't know where your meal is going to come from it's good to have a, a time every day to pray to God. Now, let me tell you what that does for you because you see, the devil is going to come at you with self doubt, with voices of doubt and 
just fear like how are you gonna survive fail price is this today you get me things are expensive how are you gonna survive he's gonna sometimes you can wake up in the morning i can wake up in the morning feeling good right middle of the day i'm questioning my whole life my whole existence what am i doing what am i doing what am I, what's my life like what you know ha huh? i'm questioning my whole life i feel bad thank god for that time of the day where i'm supposed to pray because guess what my alarm rings when my alarm rings, blah, 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 prayer time, prayer time, I go to God. Sometimes, sometimes when I go to pray, I go to pray feeling defeated. Hmm? But now that's why he's God. And that's why he's your father, right? So I come to him and say, dear Lord, I don't even want to pray. I'm scared. I'm confused. I don't even know what to do. Help me, Lord. Holy Spirit, help me. And I'll bring my phone and I'll play playlist. That's why I have a channel, Pennywise. You see, Pennywise, I have like three or four compiled playlist it shows you that i have i i just play a playlist of songs the in between the song my spirit starts to, you know how um david says he restores my soul that's it the more i worship the more my soul just gets restored from that distressed state from that worry state to this is who i am i am god i sent you on this mission i will take care of you i'll take care of you and i will be free it works like magic trust me Right now, pick up your phone, check your itinerary. Where, which, which time do you have like 30 minutes to just devote to God? Set an alarm right now. Just put alarm. Pray. Pray now. Alarm. Click it. Repeat every single day. It will help you a lot, yeah? So the lady comes and gives me the manuscript. Okay, now, now you can continue. But I don't have money to proofread to print the book. And I cannot call anyone to ask for money because nobody sends me to not do Big Brother. You know, even till now, like when I tell them I'm not supposed to do Big Brother, Big Brother, they look at me like, are, are you joking? Don't, don't even joke. But that's what God said I should do. So if God is the one that told me to stop doing it, He has to provide for me, and He will. He's my Father. What did God says, He is our Heavenly Father. You get me exactly. And me, I go ahead and tell God, God, well, you said you are the Father to the fatherless, and me, my earthly father is dead. So you're my father so you provide for me right now tell me how i go for an event where they are doing grants right and in my head i'm thinking okay maybe that's god's plan for me to see the event for grants so that i will attend the event so that they would now award me the grant so that i will now make money to print the book i thought that was god's grand plan i go for the grant event and i did not get the money i was there in my very before they i think they gave like 12 different ladies there i think over 200 maybe like 250 000 naira. i'm telling you and i did not get the money and i, and I was like let me go and hustle because I, I felt like god that was god's plan so i went to go and hustle i went to meet the woman i was i was mad please i'm a new mom i have a, I have a project i have i don't want to like leave me alone joe I came back feeling very defeated. In fact, I, I didn't even own my camera. I, I didn't even vlog. I was just like, man, I'm defeated. One day, I pick up my camera and I was like, you guys, man, I can't lie to you. I, I went for the event and I didn't get the money and I feel so bad. And I, 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 I had to just be open. And you see, in life, yeah, let me tell you something. It's actually, if you're on God's assignment, be truthful. Say the truth. Say it in your heart. Because you don't know you don't know who God has sent to help you. You have no idea. So I made the video. I said it like, ah, man, this is, this is, this, that is it. I feel bad. I won't lie to you. Three days later, I get a message from Sister A. I heard what happened to you. Um, don't worry. Um, you would get your own grant. And I'm telling you, maybe like 30 minutes later, I get an alert. And she sent me the equivalent of the money that um they paid the grant person yeah that's how i took the money so i even took some of my investments and i printed the first 50 copies of the book now in my head i'm thinking i'm not going to do anything big because i mean because you know a lot of times that we we, we 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 plan our life as large or as shrunk or as small as the money in our accounts are we don't plan our life like we're children of God, you know? We, 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 we just think like, ah, because of money in my account, so I cannot do this, so I have to do this. But that's not what God has called you here to do. God has called you here to represent him on earth, you get me? So me, I'm thinking that, okay, I've printed the 50 books, so let me just try and sell these books. Uh, maybe that's the plan, right? And then, I mean, because I told you, I have time where I pray every day. So I'm praying one day and the Holy Spirit says, ask for wisdom. Because the Bible says wisdom is profitable to direct. If you don't know any scripture in the Bible, let me tell you one that you must you know, and cram in your life. Wisdom is profitable to direct, right? What does that mean? The profits 
of having wisdom is direction. Do you get? So that means somebody who has wisdom has direction. Do you get me? And now to sell a book, I need direction. To write a book, I need direction. I don't even want to tell you how I even got this book. This book, um, this, see this book. This book is my testimony book. This book is my. This book is the book that broke me to the world. This book is the book that made me a millionaire. This book is the book that has made me global. I'm a global speaker because of this book. Hallelujah. Listen. Okay, so Holy Spirit says, ask for wisdom because you cannot want to bring forth a book that God has given you and, and, and you don't have wisdom. So I start to pray. God, give me wisdom. God, give me wisdom. God, give me wisdom. If you must pray for anything in this life, pray for wisdom. I said, God, give me wisdom. God, I was just praying for wisdom. Pray for, pray, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. Give me wisdom. And one day I'm in church and, you know, I, I, somebody was just testifying and I heard in my spirit, you're going to hold a book launch. And I'm just like, ah. Really? A book launch? Where am I going to get the money to hold a book launch from? Like, you know, when God gives us an assignment, the first thing we think about is money. Do you get? We think about our own space. Money. I don't have money. God is the one that says, do this thing. We're thinking of money. I don't have money. I don't have money. So I'm thinking like, God, where am I going to do, get the money from? I'm still praying for wisdom. Pray for wisdom. And all of a sudden, boom, God starts to just show me videos to watch. Like I'm telling you, I will just go and search for like maybe um, how to launch a book here. Yeah? I'm looking through like, you know how YouTube gives you like 20 videos. I'm looking through the 20 videos and I, and I know like I'll just get to a video and I know watch this video like you know how they say wisdom probably able to direct I get clear cut direction watch this video don't watch this video all of a sudden you guys I have a full plan like if you see how I launched my book you would think I'm an expert in this like I'm telling you the, the things I did some people that have been writing books for years did not do them the first thing to do is what to have a book launch team i go on this channel i put i say okay you guys you know i want to launch my book i've opened a, a, a group for you see don't don't underestimate yourself in this life if you have god i promise you i'm telling you i've opened a group for you guys so yeah join the group oh, boom people actually like when people said to join the group even me i was surprised people were actually joining the group i said okay this is the amount i'm selling the book oh, okay what are we going to do um you buy the book i'll deliver the book boom People are buying the book. I'm telling you, like somebody, so somebody even sent me. I remember the first day, the, the day I got the, the credits. I got the credit a lot for a book I was selling 12,000 naira. I got a credit a lot of 150 thousand naira. You guys are crying. Tell me why I go on my launch team, you guys. And then I see a message from somebody on my launch team. A lady there said that she was going to ask her friends for how many copies she needs to buy i said okay fine reach out to me i was even happy like yeah your friends you know tell me how i open my phone today and i see that she sent 155,340 naira and she writes and says hey omi when you receive the alert my friends and i will need a soft a soft copy of the book we can pass a copy around and be sure to send you our feedback i said eh he said i'm proud of you i can't wait to read this book i said as in just one copy she said that would be enough for us i promise you guys like god is amazing god is amazing god is amazing god is amazing i swear like god is amazing god is so amazing god is amazing god is amazing god is amazing oh my god oh my god i didn't even want to cry but i don't know god is amazing I cried like I, you get me like I cried I was just like what like no now this person paid for this book and maybe she took like I think she took she just took one copy soft copy she sends the copy to her friends her friends say no um even though she paid 150 thousand naira that that's enough right her friends say no I want to spot, I want to launch this book. Her friends are sending her, her sending me money through her. She's sending to me. Even her, she's looking at me like, oh me, at this point, I'm confused. I'm speechless. I'm telling her I'm the one who is speechless because they, they don't even know me. I don't even know them. But they are saying, just I want to just launch this book. You guys, all of a sudden, me that I didn't have any money to do a book launch whatsoever. 
my money is building and that's something that that you must know if god entrusts you with an assignment right if god give god gives you a project that he's funding the project for you he's he's like he's looking out for you to know how responsible you are with the money he's giving you trust me there's there, there's so much talk of how pastors are eating money that's not your business once god can entrust you with resources yeah the bible says what if you cannot manage little who will give you big to manage that's what the bible says so every amount every money i'm getting i'm telling you i'm safe like i was i was dogged i moved my, my investment bank i'll put the money there like the money, the money I was getting, I was even able to help my house. So let's take, for example, food stuff finish. I'll go and buy food stuff. But, the, but I, I, I mean, like food stuff, that's to show you that it must be very, very important. If not, I'm saving the money. I'm saving them, saving the money. So I said, okay, now let's now go and look for um, a space to host the book launch. Now, in, in between, I'm selling some books. Like I'm just saying, like you know what? Um, I'm having a launch team. Launch this book for me. You will give me money. I'll give you the book. You know, I was selling on the side while planning the book launch. The first day I got to the um, to the venue, I was going to do the book launch. I freaked out. Can I be truthful with you? I'm scared. I'm like you. As you know, I just because I don't know who to invite. God, I need your help. I know God is working with me. I know. But like the money in my account, uh, I don't know, I'm scared. Like for one mind, that's what I'm just saying. Like just take pictures and say like, oh, it's launch, you guys should buy. Like we should do like a whole event. Because I don't even know. I don't know anyone in Abuja. I don't know like the rich people that I don't know. So I would like to you. I'm scared. I was scared. The first thing I said was, I don't know anybody who's rich. I don't know, you know, any rich person to invite for my book launch. See, you know, and, and, and I think that in in this whole journey one thing god has done for me is that god has just shown me the states of my mind god has shown me that i say i trust him but do i really trust him because how is it that he's been taking me through all along all the signs that he's showing me is that i am the one providing for you not you youtube that i thought was my source of income was not earning me any money at all but i was still having money to take care of myself to even plan a book launch and i go to um look for the book launch space the first thing i'm saying is i don't know any rich person to invite for the book launch i say that my mind is still focused on people not god but I told you the trick is to have your prayer time. So every day is still my prayer time and I'm praying in fear and I'm praying in fear and the Holy Spirit one day says to me, who's your supplier? Who's your source? Is your source the people who are rich that you're going to invite for your book launch? Or is your source the one who has brought you this far, God Almighty? I said it's God. He says, I don't understand. So, so why are you scared? So what's the problem? I say, okay. And then there, there's a scripture that God, or a story that God, see, when I am in a financial fix, God takes me back to that story, Jesus' story. You see, when Jesus fed 5,000 men with five loaves and three fishes, exactly, God always takes me back there and says to me, when Jesus went to feed 5,000 men, Abby, how many loaves did they have? I said, five. How many fishes? I said, three. He said, so what did he do? What did Jesus do? Jesus thanks God for what he had in his hands. And Jesus broke and started feeding them. As he broke and started feeding them in faith, the thing started to multiply. Be here. So God says, do the same thing. So I look at my account, how much do I have? I thank God for what I had in my account, right? And I started to now pay. I'm like, okay, you know what? How much is the venue? Okay, this I paid. How much is my MC? Okay, this I paid. How much is okay? As I was paying, more money was coming. I'm not even joking with you. I can literally be in my sitting room like this, just working or something or being with my husband. God would just tell me, boom, call this person right now and tell her to launch your book. I'll pick up my phone and I'll call this person. Hi, hi. Even though it's been a while, trust me. I'll call this person. I'll tell her, hi, you know, um, you know, I wrote a book. It's about the other side of fear because I share my testimony. This book is not even a normal book. This book is literally how God helped me through fear. I share with you how I moved from having preeclampsia and high blood pressure to not needing to take the blood pressure drug at all because God healed me. And I will tell you how God healed me with this book. This book, it will tell you how the enemy wanted to kill me, right? And I saw it physically happen to me, but God saved me. This book will tell you eh, that fear is just like 
So, I, I mean, it's called the other side of fear. So, there's front side and there's back side. This is fear facing you. But at the back is everything that you can be that God has called you to be. But God needs you to walk through fear to the other side of fear. Do you get what I'm saying? This book is a guide that will help you through fear. This is a project from God. So, I'll call them. By the time I begin to share with you my testimony, you'll be like, okay, fine. Omi, don't worry. I'll launch it. Day after day, more money is coming. I'm paying more bills. I am paying almost all the bill and then i realized that oh me the only books you have are 27 copies out of 50 copies my friend called me and said oh me you know what i want to sponsor 12 people so i want to pay for 12 books for you to give away 12 books to people in fact just bless them with these books oh for real so that means out of 27 books all i had was 15 books but it's not possible because after lunch i have to go and put my books in bookstores right yeah so i need more books but how am i going to print more more books because i don't even have the money to print the books as I go back to God, I say, God, and you know, I need to print more books. I don't have money to print the books. All the money that you've given me, I've been using for this book launch. Please bring money that I'll use and print this book in Jesus' name. Amen. Right? My friends and I, we organize a prayer, which is also good to have like pillars in your life. It's important to have people that you pray with. It's so important, right? And so... Um, three of us, we, um, we, we organized three days fasting. While we are fasting, we we'll minister to one person. Two of us will minister to one person. The next day, we'll turn to the next person. You get me, yeah? So, me, I chose the, the last day. And so, the last day, someone sent me exactly half of the money that I ended to print 50 copies, right? But I'm looking like this is just half of the money and I have just one week to go to, um, to my lunch. Where am I going to get the remaining half of the money from? But as I am like this now, I can host the lunch and comfortably do the whole lunch. You get what I'm saying? Yes. But if I take this half, the money I have, to print the book, where will I get the remaining half in just a week? Like, you get me? I'm still thinking small, shrinking my mind. And so they're ministering to me and they said something about um, oh, um, speed in obedience. And, and the Holy Spirit saying to me, do what you are supposed to do. No, 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 no. And I have to say, man, yo, you, you guys just confused me. They were like, how? And I told them the case, like, man, this is how much I have, ha, ha. And they were like, what's your spirit telling you? I said, it's telling me to go and print the book. I know that God will give me the balance. And, and they were like, okay, so go and do it. You know, and I'm just like, ah, okay, no problem, you know. And I called the guy. I said, print 50 copies. I sent him, you know, half of the money. I sent him the money, like, two days after the call. I'm not even kidding you. The next day... The next day, God tells me, call this person, call this person, tell them to print, um, tell them to launch the book. In between telling them why I'm writing this book and what this book is about, they're like, don't worry, I'll launch this book for you. Yeah, well, I can't lie to you. The next day after I paid the guy half of the money, the remaining half of the money came for me to pay off the whole book printing. I pick up 50 more copies. For, that I want to use for the book launch a day before the book launch, y'all. That night, my husband and I sat down and we just started to calculate how much I've spent from this launch. From the moment where I announced that I wanted to launch this book to the moment I was sitting down on my chair, I'd gotten over 700,000 naira. I did not have one naira at the beginning of the journey. God provides for his vision. If you are in doubt, let my life be a test. Let it be a proof to you that if God says do something, eh, provided you heard the voice of the Lord, I promise you, he will provide for that vision. That's what he does. Don't allow the economic state of your country shrink your, your, your dreams and goals. God is bigger than the policies being made in your country. God is the same God that helps Abraham, Moses, Jacob, um, um, Isaac, David, Solomon. He's God. He's still helping till today. Anybody who God has, God helped. If you look at Jesus' life, was it limited? You, things were tough in their time, but Jesus went to different countries. He did not lack what to eat, what to drink, where to sleep. He did never, never one day did just stop to think and say, ah, let me worry. Never. To the point where he was, he even taught us that, let me tell you the trick. If before, if, if you want to worry about what you will eat, where you will sleep, you are wasting your time because a true child of God should know that it is the unbelievers that worry about those things. Jesus is telling, telling us this thing. He says, the unbelievers worry about this thing. He said, if you focus on God, if you focus on God, yeah, he will provide all those things for you because before you even ask him, he knows you have need for those. He knows it. He knows the God knew that I was scared of the of the half money that came into my account. He knew I was scared. That's why he came and spoke to my friend to tell me, just tell my child that she needs to act now. 
I, I paid the money. You see the way I was even struggling to pay the money. I paid the money the next day. I got the full money to, 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 to pay for the book, um, for the book, was it for the book printing, the whole book printing. Do you understand? That, that, that's the God that you serve. Y'all, I can't lie to you. On the book launch day, some people that were like, don't worry, Omi, I'm going to come. Then they did not come. But if you see how successful my book launch was, I'm not even joking. Like it was full to the brim. Hmm? I sold books. I sold merch. But more than even selling books and selling merch, it's telling people about fear. You see, the only tool that the devil can hold against a true child of God is fear fear what if it doesn't succeed what if you get broke look at the economy prices of things you can't do what god has said you should do the devil would even tell you this thing god is telling you to do can it make you any money because he told me that too all this book you're writing all this thing preaching the word of the god oh lord can it make you any money how much how does it make you any money eh do this big brother thing now what's up you know you made the decision while you had blood pressure now you are free you can do it now you like try to convince you that what is a lie my darling do what god says you should do it's called the other side of fear a believer's guide to conquering the world i'm holding your hands in my hands and i'm taking you through a eh, through your own fears to the other side to the part where god's blessing will reign because let me tell you once god sees a life yeah that is deciding to follow him to be obedient to him he will help you he will lead you he will drag you he is god he wants to do it in your life don't you understand <laughs> i'm done with my book launch that was such a success i just want to bless i've been saying thank god i have one testimony but i don't know i don't know if i should say it right now but there was something that was pressing for my husband and i it was like a bill oh yeah you know it was like a milestone in our life that we had to pay so much money for and it was it was either we we're going to settle for a lower thing that i did not like because we didn't have the money for it and i told god this was before i did the launch and i told god that god provide money for this thing i did not know where the money was going to come from yeah well i can't lie to you after holding the book launch we have comfortably paid off all the money i'm telling you see if god has told you to do something do it i've reached out to the bookshops now they're like okay you need to give us 20 copies of the book on that one is saying 10 copies of the book where would i have gotten the copies if i had not printed more books all of a sudden, right now, I have a product that I'm selling that has the capacity, capacity to make me money as much and much as just forever. On the book launch, I told people about the whole affair. I, I heard somebody, like, the testimonies I heard, someone came out and said to me, I used to have the same fear you used to have to, and see, you know, after hearing this thing, I know. In fact, just, just here. Thank you for having me for your book launch. I really enjoyed myself and learned a lot. It was very insightful in fact like that was my ever first book launch and i'm so glad that i came because you know i shared my fear so it wasn't like something i've ever said out loud before but i felt like it was a safe space to talk about it and to see that i wasn't alone in what i was feeling like i didn't feel alone i was reassured of god's love for me and the um, lady that spoke the lady from Cameroon, who said the other side of fear is faith the other side of fear is joy the other side of fear is assurance i just held on to those words because fear will definitely bring me down and when you said your story of your um preeclampsia bp and the rest and how the thoughts like oh you were going to die you were going to die you were going to die so no matter what they did it wouldn't work because your mind was gone like you've already formed it in your head that Mm -mm, nothing is going to work why because fear took over so i just told myself like i'm not going to give fear that much power over me because fear will kill me faster than even what what is going on with me or what i think is going on with me everything was just so interesting to me it's amazing the stories that you read out loud i can't wait to actually read everything to read the whole book but it was a very good one and i'm sure that it was not just me but a lot of people left there feeling like they've conquered their fears like and i'm sure a lot of people left there not the same way that they came thank you thank you thank you for inviting me i really had i had a wonderful time i'm telling you there's nothing god cannot do god is amazing god has turned my life around god has given me a purpose in life god has given me god has just he has he has just changed my my, my mind before now i would manipulate my videos just for it to see if i can get views but god is like you don't even have to do all that again before now i, I would walk 
I, why I had preeclampsia was because I was heavily, you, you, I, I wrote about it in, in this book. You would read it and see how I almost killed myself because I was trying to make money. But there's a way to live life without killing yourself to make money. I was heavily pregnant a week to nine months. I wasn't sleeping. Literally, I'm telling you, I would walk from morning till night. I'm supposed to be sleeping. Pregnant women sleep. I would walk morning till night, maybe rest a little, come back. I would walk till midnight till the next morning. Are you joking? How would I have high blood pressure? How? Tell me. Because I'm thinking like, no, it's big brother. If I don't post never, if I sleep now, I'll be feeling sleep like this. I'm still there editing my video like, what? I, I, I was, if the baby had stayed anymore in my tummy, I would have convulsed and died. Don't, don't, don't slave. Don't allow the devil keep you on slavery journey just to make money. Don't do that. There's a way, if, if what you are doing, God's calling upon your life, he will bless you, he will provide for you, he will keep you, he will help you, he will guide you, he will give you a new story, he will give you a new life, that's the God you serve. I don't allow fear to hold you back. See, the best thing you can do for yourself right now, if you, what, if you, if you are watching to this point, get a copy of this book. Just get a copy of just read. Read my story. Look at what God did in my life. How did my blood pressure calm down that I did not have to take drugs anymore? Read it. How? How did I succeed? How did I get married? How did my friend, my own friend who is trying to kill me, my own friend, and I'm not joking, I sleep, I sleep one night in my sleep. I, I have a dream. I see her, I see exactly what she wants to do. Four days after that dream, real life, she calls me. And the same thing I said in my dream played out. And this is like the third time the same thing is happening. Are you joking? Things are out there to stop you from achieving. They're jealous of you. You don't, even, you, you, you don't even know why. All you have done was just to just try. Try in your life. Try to succeed. All you're just doing is just trying. And somebody's looking at you and hating that you're even moving. What, what have I done? Because I'm married? Because I have a child? Are you joking? Because I'm married? <laughs> we're young couples. We're trying to, we're trying to make it. We're, trying, we're, we're, we're not like... You know, we're trying to make it. We're trying. He's working right now. You go to the panel. He's working hard. I'm working hard. And you're jealous of me. You want to pull me down. But you can't. Because I'm a child of God. Read this book and see how God will hold your hands through your own fears. And you'll be successful. Because what he wants for you is to be successful. It might look scary. I know it might look scary. But trust me, God is on your side. But I have to share this testimony with you. Because God is... The blessing is so much for me to just keep to myself. It's wrong. If I don't share this with you, then I... I I'm doing the kingdom of God a disservice because God has done so much for me not to share with you. Especially in these scary times. Times are scary. You get me? Yeah. The devil is trying to shrink you. He's trying, but there was never a time that things were were were, were like were like tough that God so like he he just suspended his work that way though. When the economy gets good and we come back, that's not the God. That's how that's how I don't know when this video will come out, but that, that's just how, look at it right now, I'm going for um, a media interview. I'm telling you, like, God, how I got the media interview said is God, because I, I didn't even have to stress, and I'm going to go and talk on radio about my book. If God has opened a path for you, he would make it easy for you, trust me, that's my life. That's the life he wants to live, he wants you to live too. And I hope this blessed you a lot. If you want to buy my book, you can either send me a DM on Instagram, um, Diomi or Diki on Instagram, or go to the link down below. In the description below, you can go to either Seller or Amazon, get a copy of the book. But if you want hard copy, follow me in my DM, Omi or Diki, Diomi or Diki on Instagram, and I would fix it up and I'll send you a copy of the book. You have to read this book. It will bless you. We are created to succeed. Let fear not hold you down. I hope this blessed you. God is amazing. God is amazing. Like, I can't even lie to you. I had to just share with you. Like, God is just amazing. Like, God, God can change your financial status. God can change your life. God can provide for you. I'm not uh, abundant, comfortable, but I'm well taken care of by my daddy who is in heaven. He wants to take care of you too. All right. I hope this blessed you. Thank you for watching. And please subscribe to this channel as well. I would love that. All right. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye. Right.